There are more officers roaming the streets in a local neighborhood because of an alarming spike in shootings. As Angela Ingram reports, it can likely be traced back to a feud. There are always patrols in Millvale, but now neighbors will see even more of them. It's an effort to deal with a recent spike in violent crime. Officers call it round the clock, high profile visibility. And we have the bike patrols up there. We have the gang enforcement officers. We have the canines doing directed patrols up there. Captain Paul Brockstermen is in charge of District 3, which is the west side of the city. The 14 neighborhoods have had drops in aggravated assaults and robberies, but Millvale is having problems. Uh, Millvale, for such a small community that they are, uh, they're up in 75% uh, in violent crime this year. That includes two recent homicides. 50 year old Ralph Whitehead was shot last Thursday on Millvale Court. <laughs> His family was grief stricken at a vigil. They took a good guy. The next day, someone gunned down Elijah Wheeler just a short distance away on Borden Street. So we're in Millville, obviously, with the, with the situation of homicide, just to kind of try to speak peace into the community. Today, street advocates were out trying to get neighbors help and bridging a gap between the community and officers. We go around, we pass out information for people that may be looking for a job. We don't have jobs, you know, but we do have resources. Over the weekend, the SWAT team served a search warrant for a gang enforcement investigation here. The strategy is to apply resources and work with neighbors until these shootings stop. It's a small group of individuals causing a vast majority of the problems. And Captain Brocksterman says he is hearing that two groups of people are fighting in the Millvale neighborhood, and that is what is causing this uptick in shootings. He also says that neighbors have been cooperating with investigators. He says even if they haven't talked to police outwardly, they are finding ways of reporting information anonymously. Reporting live tonight from District 3 Police Headquarters, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Back to you. Angela, thanks very much. The police chief told city council today that he expects arrests in both murders fairly soon.